This is one of the most popular events at the Winter Games, gaining traction actually in the Valley as well. Yeah. Uh, coincidentally, Team 12's Brian West is live at the Coyotes Curling Club for a lesson. Brian, I don't know if the news has trickled down there yet, but right. I'm sure those, you know, curling aficionados are excited. Definitely, Joe and Emma, good morning. So take a look just through the glass here. You can actually see we have been watching that game, and this is a huge deal, especially here at the Coyotes Curling Club, because Kimberly Gaddy, who is with the club, you were saying half your members are Canadian, so this was a big deal that USA upset It is, upset it is definitely. Our, our membership basically doubles in size when it comes to the winter season because we have so many snowbirds who come down here to not only curl, but then they come into golf, and then they just love that they can have their winter sport with nice weather. And the United States has never beat Canada that you can remember at the Olympics so right so this is a huge deal especially since they beat him in round robin and just had a huge victory this morning as well so we're we're definitely cheering for them we're going for it bring it Sweden so we are learning a little bit you've been t teaching me the basics about exactly this. and you say around this time you actually have a ton of people who sign up this last weekend you had how many walk-ins about 180 people came in to go ahead and try curling and I'm gonna go ahead and try this now. And go 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 that's not bad. What do you think about that? I think that's pretty good. I think you're definitely going to get it in there. I love it. This is much more my speed. It's better than hockey. So the technique to this is really one balance, patience, and accuracy. You started three years ago. Exactly. What made you fall in love with curling? Um, well, a little bit of the camaraderie that came with the club because the people here are fantastic to spend time with. And it's just a great way to meet a bunch of new people and to also work out. And for those of you at home who don't think this is a workout, this part is a little stretchy, but that broom. Oh my God, you'll, spe you'll burn so many calories just sweeping alone. <laughs> That's what you should tell your kids at home. <laughs> you'll burn so many calories, honey, just sweep. You can be an Olympian. Exactly. Uh, I had a little bit of turn on that. So how does somebody sign up? We're at 52nd Street and University in Tempe. How does somebody at home come in? or? So we have so out? many tri curling events throughout the month of March and February, um, especially with the Olympics going on. So you can just go to our website and we have them all listed and you can come in and try it for 15 or 20 dollars all right and guys as I toss it back to you I have to tell you not naming names but Fred down there he's worked with Mark Curtis the last three Olympics yeah. when Mark came here and he says my form is so much better so I don't have Mark Hamilton's mustache but I kind of have his form you do hey Brian I have a quick question now a lot of people say whenever they watch the Olympics oh yeah curling I can do curling that looks like to be it is the, the easiest but I want to know from them, is it as easy as it Perfect looks? Shot. <laughs> Can you even hear I me over the I would say sound? it's not as easy as it looks. No, especially when it comes to the sweeping, that is really hard. The form you can get down, I mean, this is my first time ever on the ice, and as you know with hockey, I am not natural on the ice, <laughs> but I could say I could do this. I could do the league. All right, <laughs> she says it too. Thanks, Brian.